Hey guys, this is Mike Jones and today I'm going to do a tutorial on to teach you on how I record my videos and all these steps it takes for me to do it. So I don't know, this will be a full in-depth tutorial. So if you want to learn to record the way I do, watch this video. Let's get into it. So first things first, the video recorder I use is OBS. Obviously I have it running right now already recording, but I would just go in here and push record. I already got my settings set up. If you want to learn how to uh, use OBS to record, it's free. Uh, all you got to do is look up tutorials on YouTube. Uh, let me see if, can I show my settings while I'm recording? I guess I can. Um, all you got to really worry about, I believe, is video. Yeah, I use 30 FPS and then my rev revolution of my uh, actual screen. So my monitor is a 1920 by 1080p and the output scale is 1920 by 1080p. Make sure you match these to your monitor and match this to how good your computer is. I should be able to record on 60 FPS or even higher on NR2003, but there's no reason to really. I don't think watching videos is not as good. Obviously, if you're playing games, you want the highest FPS, but I think watching all you really care about is 30 FPS, at least that's me. All right, that's, that's good enough for that now. We go into NR2003, so click on your NR2003, now we're in the game. <clears throat> so I'm going to use Daytona 2020 to be the deal, I got all this pop-up stuff, but whatever. So I'm going to show you how I do it on a 10 lap race, I guess, uh, 1%, and this will be my Legends. I always record on 110% unless it doesn't work, which has only not worked for Formula 1 stuff. I think the last Formula 1 race I did at like 103%, but every oval track I've ever done, 110% gives you the best, most fun recording, because you don't just want the recording to be, you also, ah, I don't even know how to say this, you don't want the recording to be boring, you want it to be good racing too, so I do that, 110 gives you the most aggressive, crazy racing. I always have it on realistic damage, simulation driving mode, even though, well, all this will affect is the tire wear on the AI, because this is just for recording races, not for actually driving, but I always do simulation mode anyway. Yellow flags are on, double file restarts on, realistic weather, all that does is give you weather realistic to the area, I guess, <laughs> in the time of year that the race is held. Always the most amount of opponents you can, and then your roster, all that good stuff. Okay. So, I usually cut all of this out. You usually don't see it until I start the race, but I'll show you everything that I do. First, I will simulate qualifying. to your cars. Alright. So, I'm using a track that's probably not perfect to test, because I've already done this. But I might have to show you a second thing. So, anyway, there's the qualifying. Drivers. Now I go to the race, and I skip the whole thing and count how many cautions there are. Alright, there are zero cautions. Let's say for a 20% for a race, I usually like to have about 2 to 3 cautions. So for 5%, I'd like 1 caution. We didn't have any cautions, so we need to go fix that, correct? Alright. So in order to fix that, exit out your game, right click your NR2003, go to open file location, go to tracks, go to the track that you're editing, which for me is Daytona BMC Night. Make sure you right click, copy, and right click and paste your uh, track so that you have a copy just in case a backup of the actual. Then in the track folder that isn't a copy, go into it all right this is where you edit the track to cause more cautions the easy way on Daytona and you don't really need to affect the line modifier all you gotta do is just slowly bump down the drafting distance so it's a 1.2 I like to go at two at a time uh, 0 0.02 at a time so from a 1.20 basically I'm gonna go down to a 1.18 we're going to see if that causes one caution. Save it, then go back into your game. Alright, so we're back into the game. We just simulated qualifying again. Let's simulate the race again and count how many cautions there are. 
Sorry if this video is kind of boring. I'm just trying to teach you guys everything. One caution. So let's say I have this set up to exactly how I'd want it. One caution. Then, uh... Then I would go to my championship mode version of it and do it on there. But, obviously, because I'd have a season already for it. I'd go into championship mode, then go record it. But, right now we don't. So let's just say this is our championship mode. And I'll start the recording showing you exactly how I do it. Alright, so... This is the actual stuff that really matters. This Driver, will be the qualifying that I use. I use the buttons C and V Driver, to switch to cars. Car. V is to switch cars, C is to switch cameras, Shift C is to go previous cameras, Shift V is to go different cars. All right, I always go to TV mode and then go to the leader, which right now is Joe Weatherly. And this is how I set it up. Then I usually go to info and uh, back there just so that we can give some info on the track. All right. Then I usually will excel this until about this much. And then I will start with my, hey guys, this is Mike Jones, all that good stuff. And start the announcement, tell you guys all the stuff on it. It's a 10 lap race. And we're at Daytona, it's a 2.5 mile track, all that good stuff. Then go into qualifying and go over the qualifying. And I would keep going over it until this hit driver start your engines and stuff. And then I will zoom in and then usually I will throw up the points now. That's kind of a new thing. Also, I will edit in music at this part or for this entire thing just to kind of keep it not as boring because the race hasn't even started yet. Hopefully, I'll probably edit in music into this whole video just so that the video is better. Uh, but anyway, so we do that. Now that we get the driver, start your engines. Drivers, start your engines. And then I will be recording from all this, doing my normal announcing. I would have said everybody started wherever and all that good stuff. And so let's get into the actual racing part. So green flags out. Let's say I'm recording and all that good stuff. Hopefully a crash happens so that it could show you how I deal with the crashes. Uh, there are three wide at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so also one thing to edit in the track I and I, if they're coming out of the corner and they're hitting the wall, which they do a lot on 110%, bring down the line modifier one point at a time because the line modifier is basically how, how aggressively they're taking that corner. You don't want them to hit the wall every time coming out of the corner. So you want to bring that down to where they just barely don't hit it. That way when their tires get worn out, a couple of them might hit the wall once in a while. And uh, that will also bring down a lot of cautions. Because if they hit the wall, they'll usually cause a lot. And hopefully a crash happens soon so that I can show you. I'll just uh, I'll be back when a crash happens and then we'll go from there. Holy cow, it took until the last lap for a stinking caution to happen. Oh my goodness. All right. So if that were to happen, I would be still recording the leaders and then go over the win. And then I would uh, go back. So I would be like, oh my gosh, I don't even know who won. I would be like, okay, Bobby Isaac wins all that good stuff and announce all this stuff. And then say, hey, let's go take a look at the replay. Okay. So then I will go to the pace car. I will fast forward it back until I see see his lights turn on is right now I will pause it right away right when the lights turn on then you know exactly when the caution came out um, Rex white was the guy spun out while wow, this is a crappy view uh, then I will show a replay uh, let's just let's just show this for now so there is contact back here and stuff oh there was contact here so I would have cut all of that out from where I say let's go take a look at the caution and then I will go back to here. Then I will go back a little farther. I will start it and then right here I will start talking and I will cut it back in. Say oh there's contact all that good stuff. And then there's the wreck happens. Wow Rex White got Dale Jr. from Brian Vickers basically. But anyway, then I will probably show maybe two replays depending on how good the first replay was. Obviously, this didn't show at all, so I would show another replay, do it all again. I would stop it right here, cut out all of it from back into where I show it, and then 
all that good stuff. Go back into it for TV camera. And then I will cut back in and start announcing and put this in the actual part of the video. That way people don't see the boring parts. If this wasn't on the last lap, I would also cut out everything except for maybe yellow flag pit stops and then cut back into the green flag the exact same way. I would go live, and but there's no green flag. And so I would skip the caution laps too so people didn't watch those. And that's about it, honestly. And then I would say all the positions people went in, said who wrecked out, go in here, talk about the stuff here, headache for the 44. And then on the championship mode, I'd look at the standings, go over that and all that good stuff. And edit out maybe a little bit of boring stuff. And uh, yeah, so that is how I record my stuff. I also will show you one more thing. So right here is Open Shop Video Editor. And this is how I edit my videos. It is free. And if you want a tutorial on this, I'm sure there's some online. Maybe I can even do one. But anyway, I would throw the video in here and then I would cut it out, edit it, and then uh, save it and export it to uh, 1080 by uh, 30 FPS. That way, I mean, you could go 4K if you want. Where is that even at? Oh, all the way up here. You could go 4K if your computer had it, but honestly, most people don't use it, so there's no point. And uh, so yeah, that's the video. If you want any more tutorials or want to know anything else, let me know in the comments below and I'll keep making more tutorials. Uh, I think these videos do the best. If this helped you out and uh, gets you the courage to finally make your own videos and you want to join the community, let me know in the comments below. Click the like button if it helped you and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you guys for watching. This is Mike Jones. Bye.